Welcome and thanks for listening to Four Things to Know, an open line podcast produced by the City of Auburn. Each week, we'll take a few minutes to walk you through events, street closures, and important dates you should know about as Auburn residents. This is the public affairs team for the City of Auburn in Auburn, Alabama, coming back to you once again with Four Things to Know. Uh, Let's go around the table and reintroduce ourselves, starting with Cynthia. Hi, I am Cynthia Williford bean the Multimedia Specialist. I'm Allison Blankenship, Neighborhood Specialist. David Dorton, Director of Public Affairs. And I am Nick Bowman, the Public Affairs Specialist. So, Cynthia, what you got for us this week? So, next Tuesday, which will be January 31st, will be the last day for our Public Safety Director, Paul Register. He is retiring after nearly 35 years with the city which is a crazy long time. (laughs) And um, we just wanted to say thank you to Paul for all of his service. Um, Again, he's been with the city for 35 years. He started as a police officer in our patrol division when he was 21 years old and um, just moved his his way up through the ranks in Auburn Police. And he spent seven years as our police chief. Um, He took over in 2013 and was police chief for seven years before he became our public safety director in 2020 when our former director, Bill James, retired. Um, And Paul's just had a really long career. We're going to do an article about him in an upcoming open line, so it'll be on our website and in the open line print that you get in your water bill. Um, So yes, Paul will be retiring next Tuesday, and um, our current deputy executive director of public safety, Will Matthews, will be taking over as our public safety director. Um, And Will worked with Paul um, as an assistant chief of police whenever Paul was police chief. Um, And Will has now been with the city for 30 years now. And um, he's just had a leading role in all of the, in a lot of the technological advancements that um, Auburn police have implemented throughout his career. Um, And he was the section chief of Auburn University's precinct for a while um, before moving to deputy executive director of public safety. So we're excited about Paul finally getting to retire and enjoy that next phase of his life. And Will Matthews will be the contact if you ever need to get in touch with our public safety director moving forward. Have you interviewed Paul for that article yet? I did today. Okay. It was so nice to hear about his career. Yeah. Did he say much what he's going to do in retirement? He is going to be super busy. He, really? um, yeah, apparently Paul has had, um, his contractor license for the past 20 oh, years. No. He builds houses. I did not um, know he's going to start a private business that he doesn't want to promote too much. So we won't yeah. talk that much about it, yeah. but he also has a farm out on society wow. Hill. So so. Usually people are just like, uh, golf grandkids. Yeah. <laughs> well, he does have four grandkids that he made sure yeah. to, um, to mention, but he was already, he has plenty of plans. He's going to be very awesome. busy. All right. Well, I hope he rests some too. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I just wanted to mention this week, um, our Auburn Public Library always has a lot of events going on, but if you go to our website to see their events and programs calendar, you may find it looking a little empty. Um, it's under construction right now. So I just wanted to remind everybody of that. And there's actually a brochure online that I think they put out every couple of months. They update it with upcoming events and story times. And so I just wanted to make sure everyone's aware of that. And um, Nick, can we link to that brochure in our show notes? Is that possible? Okay. Um, You can download the PDF and tack it onto your fridge or whatever you'd like to do. But I wanted to just highlight a couple upcoming events and some ongoing events for those with kids or teens um, who may just be interested in checking some of these out. Um, The Auburn Public Library every week on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 9.30 a.m. and 1 p.m. does a story time session, which I have actually witnessed during um, the Citizens Academy last year, and it was very engaging. There were lots of songs and crafts, so it was a really fun time. So if you have little ones, you may want to check that out. Um, They also do a puppet show um, every Friday, or well, yeah, on Fridays at 9.30 a.m. and also 3.30 p.m., Um, Both of these you can go to in person or you can tune in virtually. Um, So just go to the website to find out how to do that. And then they have an author talk with with Edith Powell coming up on Thursday, February 9th at 4 p.m. The targeted audience for this are teens or adults, and she'll be talking about her book, More Than Peanuts. If you haven't heard of it, go check it out. 
Um, and then lastly, I just want to mention they have a Valentine's Day event called Be My Valentine Crafter Noon. Um, we love a good pun. Is that a pun? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, on Valentine's Day, February 14th at 3.30 p.m. for all ages, it's going to be festive music, sweet treats, and um, you can make a little Valentine for your special someone. So just check it out. They have a lot of fun things going on. And that author talk, I believe, is the first of three that they're going to have throughout the spring. So we have. they also have a press release on their website about all those coming up. So if you yes. are interested in that, check it out. So as all nine to fivers, all of us nine to fivers sort of lament the end of the, the holiday season from Thanksgiving to really Martin Luther King Jr. Day and that run of three and four day weekends, um, now we get to go into the dry spell. During that holiday season, of course, there are a number of weeks where your trash and recycling pickup was delayed or changed due to the holiday. And so as we exit that season and exit thinking about that sort of thing, just a reminder that you can find that entire schedule for the year, the just the collection schedule for the entire year and how holidays affect it for you um, in open line, in the January open line that was in your water bills in December and is also online right now. And that has uh, a full calendar that we know have been told that some people will, you know, cut out and put on their fridge so that they always know when their their trash schedule will be delayed by a holiday. It's also online um, on the city's website. If you just go to the search function and type holiday, um, every time I've done that, it's been the first thing that came up. So that should be an easy way to find it. And that also has a PDF that you can print and a calendar option so that you can add it to your Google Calendar. So we're exiting the holiday season. Um, our next holiday that I think will affect your trash and recycling pickup is in May. It's Memorial Day on Monday, May 29th. And so, but if we'll remind you of that as we get closer, but if you want that entire year's schedule, uh, you can find it in Open Line and on the website. Sounds great. We're going to wrap up this week uh, talking about the 11th annual Auburn Polar Plunge. It's going to be coming up Saturday, January 28th at Samford Pool beginning at 9 a.m. This Polar Plunge is very special to the public, public affairs team because, of course, David Dorton will be participating. <laughs> um, that that would be the wrong name. We're, <laughs> looking, we're looking forward to seeing you plunge, David. Mm. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Allison is doing yep, it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it for the first time. And Cynthia's husband. So mm -hmm. in my stead, because I will not be doing that. <laughs> Allison came and asked me if I was going to participate. I said I would think about it, and I never responded to it. Never her. responded. But did you think about it? Probably like half yes, a second. Yes, I did. <laughs> um, I will not be plunging. So anyway, uh, it's for a great cause, though. So the community is invited to help raise financial support through the Polar Plunge for the brave athletes of the Lee County Special Olympics. Uh, if you are registered to take the plunge, uh, you can help raise money for this event. Uh, the year's theme is superheroes. Uh, so participants in the plunge are encouraged to dress in their best superhero costumes in order to take that plunge. So last year we had over $12,000 raised for the special Olympics. I know the goal is higher than that in 2023, or the goal is to beat that, um, this year. So hopefully that happens. Uh, so once a participant registers, the goal is to get as many people as possible to sponsor the plunge. There'll be prizes for people who raise the most money, as well as prizes for the winners of the costume contest. All participants are encouraged to dress in costume, jump in, and join the fun for a frigid day in support of a very worthy cause. Uh, so if you want to register, you can still register. You are not guaranteed t guaranteed a t-shirt if you do register, but registration is still open. AuburnAlabama.org slash parks slash register. Uh, if you have not created a MyRec account, you will need to do that before you sign up. Um, so, again, that is Saturday, January 28th. Allison, are you excited? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Nor <laughs> uh, no, it'll be fun. Normally, you're like, you know, Alabama, January. Mm -hmm. you, you, you get pretty lucky. You can look out, but this, this year, year <laughs> it's going to be, what, 31 that night? Probably. Yeah. It's been yeah. cold. I feel like it keeps dropping. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it'll, it'll be think, an experience. I think they Happy also do, do like a little after party thing. 
um i've heard of that that everyone runs and changes and then goes and it's not like a formal thing but Mm -hmm. um yeah it'll be fun and maybe obby will be there again Mm -hmm. it's gonna be a good event i wish you well thank you (laughs) (laughs) all right all right everybody uh anybody got anything else i don't think so all right thanks for listening everybody We we will be back next week Thanks for listening to Four Things to Know, an open line podcast produced by the City of Auburn. If you're looking for more news, events, and dates to know about coming up in Auburn, visit news.auburnalabama.org. You can also check out our show notes for the links and URLs discussed in this episode.